Boy, I just love my FootJoy shoes. And guess what? One of the contestants today is going to win a pair of FootJoy shoes. Believe me, you won't want to miss the excitement. Next on Winning Golf. Hi everyone and welcome to Winning Golf, the show where everybody wins. And today, our first exciting show of the season comes to you from the beautiful Radley Run Country Club. And joining me as our host today from Shorn Construction is my dear friend Joe Shorn. And Joe, first of all, welcome back to Winning Golf. Appreciate it. And Joe, today we don't have perfect weather, but we have a pristine golf course, a very talented group of contestants, a lot of great prizes to give away. Joe, I'm just hoping to see lots of Winning Golf. Well, we're excited to be here for our ninth season in a row, and with the experiences that we've had in the past, uh, I think the viewers are going to have uh, some great shots to witness today, and uh, we're looking forward to playing this great course as well. Well, thank you so much, Joe. And guys, I've got one key question for you. Are you ready to play some winning golf? Yeah! Awesome. I love your enthusiasm. Our first contest today is a three-player uh, putting contest, okay? And Bill DeFalco and Scott DeFlavis and Bob Trusky will be our players. So you three, could you come up front real quick for me? Bob and Scott. Come on right here next to me. can't use your cue stick for putting. All right. So I just want to share the contest with you, okay? You have a 10-foot putt. All of you will putt at the same time. Okay. First one in wins the prize, and guys, what a prize. You ready for this? How about a gift certificate to the beautiful and newly renovated Desmond Hotel? Sound great? Great. Absolutely. Great. Awesome, guys. Yeah. Let's get ready to putt. One, two, three, putt. Here they come, rapid fire. A little bit short on the first three. Still short. Got to get it to the hole, guys. This one's got a chance. Oh, just over the lip of the cup. Oh, we got a winner. Bill drains it. Well done. Well, Bill, congratulations. That was some pressure party, my friend. You rolled it in nicely, and now you'll get to enjoy a few delicious dinners at the beautiful Desmond Hotel. Hey, I hope you had a good time. Well, thank you, Doug. I did, and it's probably the first and the last putting contest I'll ever win. Well, well, uh, but I'm looking forward to going to the Desmond. Well, congratulations, my friend. <laughs> Thanks. Well, as you can see, this Shorn team knows how to play some winning golf, and the great news is we still have lots of exciting contests ahead of us. But first, let's take a tour around today's host facility, the stunning Radley Run Country Club. For over 50 years, Radley Run Country Club has provided the surrounding neighborhood and community with the very best in club leisure, recreation, and amenities. It is most definitely a family-oriented, member-owned club that retains the quiet ambiance and character of the historic Brandywine Valley. Radley Run Country Club, which opened its doors in 1965, was once a property owned by William Penn and Samuel Painter. The on-site mansion house, known as Radley's Gem, dates back to 1770 and provides members and guests with a unique setting for social gatherings, wine tasting dinners, and intimate receptions. Of course, the dining opportunities don't stop there. Radley's Pub offers a casual setting and welcoming atmosphere, much like a regular neighborhood hangout. Complementing the pub is the elegant dining room, which is perfect for banquets and weddings and can accommodate as many as 200 guests. The charming buckler room, which sits adjacent to the dining room, is ideal for intimate meals or small corporate lunches. And last but certainly not least, in 2019, the Huntsman's House received a major renovation and now serves as a spectacular men's lounge. The member usage in the food and beverage department alone has been increasing over the last year, even to a point where we're looking for additional dining space to accommodate our members that are coming out and being well satisfied. We are very excited about our wine dinners, which we host in the historical mansion house banquets. We're doing three times the amount of weddings that we've done in the previous years, and we seem to be a destination property because we're so unique with the historical look of our property here. On the recreational side, Bradley Run offers many unique programs for the entire family. The pulse of the club in the summertime is centered around its beautiful 25 meter pool. The swimming program also offers a competitive junior swim team. Radley's tennis facilities include four hard courts and four lighted hard true courts, 
as well as two lit paddle tennis courts, bringing year-round racket play to Radley Run. And to top off this beautiful country club is the superbly conditioned 18-hole championship golf course created by well-known English course designer Alfred Toll. This challenging layout, nicknamed by many the Hidden Jewel, stretches to 6,847 yards from the tips and is always in mint condition. The rolling terrain, coupled with two ponds and a meandering stream, provides players of all levels with a challenging round of golf. I mean, this place is phenomenal. I mean, it's got everything you want. The condition is perfect. Um, like I said, the challenge of the golf course, you got uphill shots, downhill shots, side hill lies, and the greens are really fast. The Rally Run course recently completed a full bunker restoration project, only enhancing the beauty for its members and guests. And for someone looking to lower their handicap, the practice facilities are meticulously maintained and include a spacious driving range, a 7,000 square foot putting green, and a first class short game area. And to top it off, this past winter, Radley Run installed a new TrackMan system, allowing the members to work on their golf games year round. Radley has full amenities. We have a short game area, driving range, practice putting green. So actually our biggest program really is our junior golf. We have about 175 juniors in our junior golf program. While adult golfers have three sets of tees, the juniors also have two sets of their own tees. The professional golf staff provides private instruction, clinics for adults, as well as camps for 175 juniors. If you would like to learn more about the many amenities that Radley Run Country Club offers its members, or are interested in planning a golf outing, wedding, or special gathering, please call 610-793-1660 or visit the web at RadleyRunCountryClub.com. Get ready for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. Winning golf, where everybody wins. Now, let's meet our players. Paul Frank, Steve Janik, Scott DeFlavis, Jim Friss, Duke Scott, Bob Trusky, Ian Kramer, Joe Shorn, Travis Hardy, Chris Webb, Bill DeFalco, Howard Liebold, Craig Howe, Doug Bear, Trey Anderson. Our players are set for Doug's FootJoy Lesson Tip and Shoe Contest. FootJoy, the mark of a player. Gentlemen, today's FootJoy Contest comes to you in three parts. Part number one, I'm going to show you a drill that I believe will really help your putting game. Part two, Duke Scott's going to put my putting drill into action. And part three is the FootJoy Contest where all of you will get to try this putting drill and at the same time compete for an unbelievable prize. Guys, you ready for this? How about a gorgeous pair of foot joys? Is that awesome? Yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous pair of foot joy shoes for the winner here. One of the most common mistakes I find when putting is the urge for players to peek and look at their ball rolling before they finish their stroke. That happens at least half my putting lessons. So the goal when you're putting is to keep your body still and your eyes on that golf ball. What happens when you peak, you're taking the putter back and you peak, actually two things happen. Number one, your shoulders open up, which means that you'll probably come across the golf ball. In other words, your stroke will always follow your shoulders in most cases. So if your shoulders open up, you'll miss a lot of putts to the left. The second thing that happens, most players that peak, and this is a very subtle move, but when they peak, their weight moves back a little bit. When your weight moves back, your putter will come up through the stroke. The bottom half of your putter will hit the top half of the ball instead of the center of the ball. The result is a putt that comes up short in most cases. You're not hitting the sweet spot properly. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So two problems. One, your path. Two, the contact. So today I want to give you a drill that's going to make you hit that ball solidly. You know what a sweet spot sounds when you hit a good seven iron? Well, there's also a sweet spot on a putter. And if you're moving around, you're seldom going to hit that sweet spot. So here's the drill. I get into my normal position, so in other words, I'm setting my putter face up on my target line, address the ball, then I'm going to move about 80 to 90 percent of my weight onto my front leg. This may feel uncomfortable initially, but it works. Then I'm going to take my back foot and just come up onto my toe. Now I feel balanced. I feel everything over the front of my body. I'm going to take a look at that title on top of the golf ball, and I'm simply going to take this putter back and through with my arms and shoulders. I don't want to peek, and I don't want to move. 
Make sense, guys? Yeah. So this drill will keep you from moving around. So it's a fun drill. Duke, will you yeah. kindly come in here and put this tip into action? Thank you, Duke. Thank you. How about a nice applause for Duke? All right, so address the ball for me, please. Okay. Line up your putt like you normally would. And once you're balanced and set, then I want you to slide 90% of your weight into that front foot. And just leave it there, balanced, okay? Then bring your right foot up onto your toe. That's support your, your stance a little bit. Now relax. Look at your line again a couple of times. I'm going to step back with this wonderful Shorn team, Duke, when you're ready. Let's put a nice roll in it. We're looking for the sound. Uh, there's a good click there. Rolling from right to left. Look at this effort by Duke Scott. That is sensational using that drill. Yeah. Well done, my friend. I hope you learned something today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. You got it. Good job. Hey, guys, you ready to try to win a pair of FootJoy shoes? Yeah. Let's do it. Our FootJoy contest uses a putting drill, moving 90% of the player's weight onto the front foot and 10% on the back toes. The goal is to stay still and keep your eyes down. Doug Bear tests this 20-foot putt with a big right-to-left break. This one's got a chance, Doug Bear. Oh, good try. Well done, Doug. Bob Trusky has a feel for this drill. Look at this effort. Look at this effort. Oh, just below the lip. Bob Trusky, nice job. Jim Friss sets the mark to beat at two feet, seven inches. Look at this touch by Jim Friss, and that's a beautiful effort. Scott DeFlavis is a half foot closer to the cup. Moving from right to left, that's a great touch by Scott DeFlavis. Well done. Duke Scott's putt looks like a winner with this gem to five inches. He looks good, the line looks good. This guy a chance, Duke Scott, right on the doorstep. What an effort. But watch Ian Kramer steal the shoes with this amazing putt. Ian Kramer's got a chance, hits the hole, Ian Kramer, it's in the hole! What a putt! Ian, congratulations. You kept your body still and your eyes down and you rolled right into the cup. Great job by you. And now you're gonna win a gorgeous pair of foot jewel shoes. The number one shoe in golf, my friend. But my question for you right now is this. How would you like to add a very exciting chipping game to those new FootJoy shoes? Oh, sounds great, Doug. Let's do another contest. I love it. Well, I hope you get the opportunity when winning golf returns. These major champions choose FootJoy. He's right. We do. Because they perform. And look sharp. Thanks, Adam. Rafa here proudly sports the all-new Fury. And these guys choose the Pro SL because it's the hottest shoe on tour. Foot joy, foot joy, foot joy for the win. Shh. Oh, sorry. Foot joy, the number one I shoe know. in golf. I I I na, 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 na. Generation GMC Sierra. Prizes and tea gifts for the winning golf skills challenge provided by Burton Travel Covers, premium quality materials that keep your club safe. Burton. And by T Squared Putters, custom putters at a stock price. T Squared. Ahead Advanced Headwear, Embroidery and Design. Ahead. And Titleist Golf Balls, the number one ball in golf. Go to Titleist.com slash tour BP3 to sign up for a free ball plant tour. Doug Hendricks wardrobe provided by the Greg Norman collection. Greg Norman, performance by design. Everybody wins. Welcome back to Winning Golf. It's time now for our chip for a prize. Welcome back to Winning Golf. Well, fellas, right now, I would love to give away a very special prize. Sound good? Sounds yeah. great. All right, here's the deal. Our terrific host, Joe Shorn, will pull one name, one name out of the hat. That player will then have two chances to chip a golf ball into a 10-foot circle. If one of those golf balls gets inside the circle, he wins the prize. And guys, what a prize. It's called Chippo. Fellas, Chippo is a game like cornhole, but instead of tossing beanbags, you're chipping shots. Who is our lucky contestant here at Radley Run? Somebody will get the chance to win a fabulous game. And just one of them there. We'll use that one right here. And his name is Craig Howe. Yeah. Craig Howe. Craig, come on up here, my friend. Craig, come on up here. Congratulations. Now, here's the deal again. A 40-foot chip shot, 
a 10 foot circle. You got to get your ball inside that circle, one of, of the two, uh -huh. and then I'm going to give you a game. What club are you going to chip with from 40 feet? Uh, 56. 56 degree wedge? Yeah. Good luck. Sounds Thank like you. a plan. Craig Howe is ready to chip from 40 feet. If he can chip one of these two golf balls inside the 10 foot circle, Craig will win a very exciting game of Chippo. It looks good. This one's got a chance. It looks like we got a winner the first show of the season. Craig Howe, congratulations. That was a beautiful touch with the 56 degree wedge, and now you'll get to take home the game of Chippo, the hottest game in golf. Hey, I hope you had some fun. Oh, thanks. I can't wait to play it. Well, you, you got it, my friend. All right. Well, thanks to Chippo Golf, we just gave away a great prize. And the awesome news is we still have a ton of awesome prizes to give away in the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. So let's get round one underway. Our Winning Golf Skills Challenge will showcase our competitors' short game skills with some challenging shots in three preliminary rounds. If they win a round, they win a prize and valuable extra shots in our all-important survivor round. Our top two winners in the survivor round will compete in an up-and-in competition to determine this week's champion. First up for our players is a 50-foot uphill chip from the rough. No problem for Jim Friss. Friss with an 8 iron has got a chance. Oh, what a good step. Nice job, Jim. Paul Frank chips it with skill. Paul Frank, everybody, with a pitching wedge. Look at that touch by Paul. Scott DeFlavis leads the charge with this chip to three and a half feet. With a beautiful touch. Look at his shot. Scott DeFlavis. Craig Howe is the first to under three feet. And that is right behind the hole. What a great touch by Craig Howe. But Chris Webb is up to the challenge. Look at this touch by Chris. Winning golf, Chris Webb. He takes the round at two feet, three inches. Round two is a tricky pitch shot from the first cut with a left to right break. Trey Anderson shows no fear. Good effort by Trey Anderson. Steve Janik shows off his short game skills. This should come back towards the cup, and here it comes, left to right. Well done, Steve. Duke Scott pitches it to four feet, four inches. And look at this touch by Duke. And that is winning golf by Duke Scott. Well done, Duke. Craig Howe is an inch closer. Look how soft that is right below the hole. Well done by Craig Howe. Bill DeFalco shot looks good at three feet, eight inches. Boy, the line looks good. The speed looks good. This one's got a chance, everybody. How about that touch by Bill DeFalco? Well done. But Howard Liebold clearly grabs this one with this shot to two feet away. Look at this touch by Howard. That is incredible winning golf right there. Howard Liebold. Round three features a 35-yard downhill pitch shot from the rough. Travis Hardy pitches it well. Look at the shot by Travis. Well, you listen well, Travis. Nice shot. Trey Anderson has this shot in his bag as well. This is going to come back towards the hole. Nice touch, Trey. It's still coming. Steve Janik continues his fine play. This could be very close when it's done. Look at this effort by Steve Janik. Well done. Ian Kramer pitches it to 7 feet 10 inches. Bringing it really high. Ian Kramer. A nice touch, Ian. Look at that. Look at that shot. Look at that. Our host, Joe Shorn, improves on that by two feet. Rolling from left to right. This has a chance to go in. Look at this effort by Joe Shorn. What a touch. Chris Webb's shot leaves no doubt. This is going to be really good, everybody. Rolling from left to right, down the hill, right towards the pin. He takes the round at one foot, five inches. That's winning golf, buddy. Now it's time to check out what's on the tee with PGA professional Doug Hendricks. I'm on the tee today with the COO and general manager of Rally Run Country Club, Craig Kendravi. And Craig, first of all, welcome to Winning Golf. Thank you again for hosting our show. We really appreciate your warm hospitality. Thank you very much, Doug. It's, uh, it's a wonderful pleasure to have you and Winning Golf here at Radley Run Country Club. Well, thank you, Craig. Well, Craig, I'm very thankful because each year I come out to film, there's something new here to film. How about if we start with the Huntsman's House? Well, the Huntsman's House is one of the historical properties. We decided over the winter to create a new men's lounge. The entire first floor was renovated. We added TVs, full service that you could order off the menu and gather it from across the street at the main clubhouse. We have working fireplaces and as I said, TVs in every room. So it's very exciting to the membership. Now, connected to the men's lounge is another new addition, a new halfway house snack bar area, which 
and it's truly halfway into your round now. That's be correct. Between the uh, ninth green and the, and the tenth tee. That's correct. Uh, we took the garage that was attached to the Huntsman's house behind us and decided to make that into a full service uh, halfway house. We added a new cart path that comes down from the top of the uh, first tee and it's completely serviceable for full service. A third thing we want to talk about happened over the winter, and this is in the main clubhouse, but I already know many members have enjoyed this luxury. Tell us, the viewers, about that one. We added a track man, and it was such a great idea over the winter. We installed that in January, and it's a great opportunity for our golf pros to uh, do lessons, club fittings, as well as the virtual golf. Well, Craig, what I'm noticing here at Radley Run is a lot of happy faces, so keep up the good work. The members seem very happy. You and your team are doing a wonderful job. I wish you a great 2019 season, my friend. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Doug. We'll see you soon. You're quite welcome. I'll see you next week on the tee. The top two players in our winning golf skills challenge survivor round will advance to compete in a one-on-one -on -one up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Players who've won previous rounds have extra shots to try to get closest to the cup. This week, our players are tested with this 20-yard chip shot from the heavy rough. Bob Trusky makes his move. Rolling from right to left. It might hit the stick, Bob. Oh, what an effort by Bob Trusky. Beautiful. Joe Shorn pitches it to seven and a half feet. It's a good touch by our host, Joe Shorn. Well done, Joe. Paul Frank's effort looks good at just over five feet. And look at this touch by Paul. This is moving from right to left. That is a great effort by Paul Frank. Ian Kramer tries to get into the playoff with this pitch to three feet, two inches. Look at this touch by Ian. Ian Kramer. How about that effort, Ian? But Bill DeFalco hits a tremendous shot to about two feet. Look at this touch by Bill. That is a flop 60 degree wedge, and that is winning golf by Bill DeFalco. And Howard Liebel takes the round with authority. This pitch to just eight inches. Bumping it up from right to left. Look at this touch by Howard. Yes, could you go in? Howard Liebel! Oh! Right over the lip of the cup. Howard Liebel. So it will be Liebel and DeFalco in our up and in playoff to determine this week's champion when winning golf comes right back. You'll never experience a hotel quite like the Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton. Now you can enjoy a fully renovated hotel with the same great service and staff, as well as our popular two on-site restaurants and pub. Our distinct banquet spaces can accommodate all sizes for any special occasion. The Desmond is also home to the only IACC certified conference center in the area. The Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton, where you can get your Hilton honor points and a cookie too. Prizes for winning golf contestants provided by Signs by the Sea, the best custom handmade golf accessories and gifts. Signs by the Sea. And by Chippo. Compete against your buddies while working on your short game. Chippo. And by Devant, the number one custom golf towel in the business. Devant. Outerwear provided by FootJoy. FootJoy Performance Outerwear. Layer up with FootJoy. We are on the 18th green and our two finalists are ready to compete for some amazing prizes. A slot in the winning golf championship and the chance to drive home with the keys to a brand new GMC terrain. Now the rules for the winning golf up and in playoff are simple. Whoever gets their ball into the cup in the fewest number of strokes will be crowned our winning golf champion. Our first shot in the winning golf up and in playoff will be a 35 yard pitch shot from the fairway. Bill DeFalco will have the honors. Bill carries a 16 handicap and plays most of his golf at French Creek. And here it comes. And that's not a bad shot. He's behind the pin. He's got about 20, 25 feet. Now Howard Liebold is up. Howard owns a 12 handicap, plays most of his golf at Applecross Country Club. He has chosen a 54 degree wedge. That's coming up towards us a little bit. It looks like we got a putting contest. They're both about 25 feet away. Bill DeFalco has about 28 feet. And here it comes. And that's all you got to do in this green. You can see it rolling from right to left. And, oh, just a cup. What a great effort from above the hole. 
by Bill DeFalco. You can see it doesn't want to stop. He's got about five feet to go. And now it's Howard Liebold's turn. He's going to have to just lag this one and see what happens. And here it comes, a real soft touch, heading towards the hole. This one's got a chance. Howard Liebold drains the 25-footer and becomes the champion here at Radley Run Country Club. Where did you handle the pressure, Howard? You hit an amazing chip shot in the survivor round and then came back in the up and in playoff and rolled in a 25 foot putt. Howard, that's what great champions do. I hope you enjoyed your experience with winning golf. Oh, it's always a lot of fun to be on winning golf, Doug. Uh, great group of guys, uh, a lot of good competition. Always uh, really a great time to participate in this event. So thanks for having me. You're quite welcome. Well, Howard, your experience isn't quite over yet because in a couple minutes, I'm going to give you the chance to putt from only 60 feet for a gorgeous GMC terrain. Howard, do you have room in your garage for one of those? We'll make room if we have to, Doug. So. I like that decision, my friend. Well, I've got a great feeling about this next putt. There's only 60 feet between Howard Liebold and a brand new GMC terrain. So whatever you do, don't touch that remote. We'll be right back with more Winning Golf. GMC Sierra. Gather with friends and make it a party at PJ's with fresh cocktails and a great selection of local craft beer. Order up our famous buffalo wings. Philly's mm. number one sports fans catch every game at PJ Willihan's, where every seat is the best seat in the house. Find a location near your neighborhood. Visit pjspub.com. It's time on Winning Golf for the Champions Putt, sponsored by your Tri-State Buick GMC dealers. Check out the new GMC terrain at your Tri-State Buick GMC dealer. Each week, our champion will attempt a 60-foot putt to win a gorgeous GMC terrain. Winning Golf is very thankful to have the Tri-State Buick GMC dealers sponsoring this thrilling event. Our champion, Howard Liebold, is only 60 feet away from the cup. If he can roll in this putt, I will hand Howard the keys to a beautiful GMC terrain. And here it comes. Boy, the line looks good. The speed looks good. Look at this effort by Howard Liebold. He got it to the hole. What a great champion. Well, I hope you enjoyed our first show of the season from the spectacular Radley Run Country Club. I would personally like to thank the amazing Radley Run staff and membership for their warm welcome and over-the-top hospitality. Also, a special thanks to my wonderful host, Joe Shorn. And again, congratulations to today's winning golf champion, Howard Liebel. Well, as you can see, we have a lot of excitement to share with you in 2019. So to keep up with the winning golf news, I invite you to follow Winning Golf TV on Twitter, friend us on Facebook, and of course, you can catch all the shows on NBC Sports, YouTube, and our website, winninggolftv.com. Hey, thanks so much for watching Winning Golf, the show where, as you know, Everybody wins. Everybody wins.